Hey everybody, it's Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library, your friendly neighborhood teen librarian. And in this video, we're gonna go over all of the different kinds of bats. So there are four different kinds. So you can just fast forward the video till you see something that looks a little bit like yours. And we'll go through the directions from there. We are gonna start with the bobblehead bat. So you should have shiny paper, pipe cleaner, a piece of black tape on a playing card, googly eyes, and a cork. And if you look in the cork, one end is gonna have a hole kind of poked in it, and that's the end we're gonna start with. So with our pipe cleaner, you're gonna take a little bit of it and wrap around your thumb or finger very loosely. Um, almost all of it. You're just gonna leave a little bit at each end that you can kind of fold at a 90 degree angle, bend. There we go. And then you're gonna take that little bit of the angle on the end and that's what you're gonna put right into the hole that's on your cork. And after you get it in there, um, you may have to move it a little bit to make sure that it's gonna stay upright and balanced, um, but it will balance. Okay, so then we're gonna take a look at our sparkly foam paper. I'm gonna cut a little bit off the end, so I've got kind of a tiny rectangle, and I'm gonna cut a circle out of that, and that is gonna be the face for our bobblehead bat. So you want it to be, I don't know, it's a half dollar size, bigger than a quarter. <laughs> then on the other side, I'm gonna turn it over so I'm not drawing on the glitter, and I'm gonna do kind of two bumps, like uh, the bumpy part of a B, and those are gonna be the tops of the wings. And then on the bottom, I'm gonna kinda of draw little waves or three bumps for each wing, which are gonna make the bottom of my bat wings. I'll try to hold that closer so you can see it a little bit. And then I'm just gonna cut that foam and regular scissors should cut it pretty easily. There's my B shape and now kinda of my wave pattern for the bottom of the bat wings. There we go. And now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. You should have a glue dot in your bag and that's what you can use to attach the circle to your wings. And then the googly eyes should peel off the back or you can use some glue, stick those right on. And then what we're gonna do after those are dry is flip the whole thing over. And on your pipe cleaner, you've got that little bit on the top that should be poking straight up. And we're gonna use the black tape to affix that to the back of our bat. And that is gonna leave us with our bobblehead bat shape. That should be pretty springy. And once again, you may have to kind of help to balance it again, but once you do, it should, it should bobble pretty nicely. Okay, up next, bat number two, origami bat. So we're gonna fold the top corner down to the bottom corner. Hold at that bottom corner and then make a nice flat fold on the top. Then I'm gonna take the top, I don't know, third of that, almost half, maybe not quite, probably top third, and we're gonna fold it down. <clears throat> and then go ahead and, and hold that and make a nice sharp crease again. Then I'm gonna take an outside corner, and it doesn't matter if you start with the right or the left, I'm gonna start with the right, and I'm gonna take that corner and bend it down to the bottom tip. And then I'm going to go ahead and however that comes out, I'm gonna smash it flat and put a nice sharp crease in. And then like origami does, we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. So left corner comes down to the bottom point and we're gonna get a nice sharp crease there as well. Now we're gonna fold these out, but we're gonna do it not on that same fold line. So I'm going to slowly kind of fold it out and then press it down because I wanna open it out, but not completely. And then I'm gonna make a sharp crease there and I'm gonna do the same thing to that other side. And so these are gonna be the wings kind of opening out from there. And then what we can do is we're gonna flip the whole thing over and that gives you that bat shape. 
Um, if you want to, you can take some scissors and cut out the little ears. The insert in your bag will kind of show you how to do that. And third, we're going to take a look at our hanging bats. You should have some wire, some furry inside bat. This is a pattern that you can trace around the felt and then cut it out with that bright pen. Um, to be a little speedier, I'm just going to pretend like my pattern is actually cut out of the felt. So once you have the felt, you're going to use some glue to gather up your fur, your feathers, and make um, kind of the bat body and glue it to the middle. Then you're going to turn it over onto its stomach and you're going to take this wire. You're going to keep it in a V shape, but you want to fold back the ends kind of like two hooks, like fishing hooks or Christmas tree hooks. And then we're going to use that black tape to attach that onto the legs of your bat. And you want the hooks to be down by the feet. That's what we're gonna use to hang it upside down. Then you'll turn it back over and fold those wings in and glue them shut. So when the whole thing is finished and you folded those wings in, it's gonna look a little bit like this. And you can see the hooks on the bottom there. And like, you can hang it off of anything off of doorways, off of lights. Um, I had mine on my sweater for a little bit after I made it. Okay, so flying bats. Got a clothespin, three bat pieces, some black tape, and a little bit of glue, and some uh, directions. I'm gonna move mine right here so I can see them. Okay, so we are gonna start with the head and body piece of the bat, and you're gonna glue it so you can still see the ears and the head kind of hanging off the end of the clothespin. And it's the part that opens that you want to glue it onto. So I'm going to glue that and I can still see the head and I'm going to let it dry a little bit. Okay. Then I'm going to look at my bat wings. I'm going to fold them in half because for logistics, we're going to need them pointing up later unfold them and you can kind of see um, there's a spot in the middle that's got a flat bit and that's where you want your glue to go. And then I'm going to glue that right underneath the head, you know, like a bat looks. And then we'll let that dry a little bit too. Okay. So I think for the next step, we are gonna take this black rectangle and we're gonna look at the underside of that clothespin. And you wanna find the middle of that rectangle and kind of center it on your clothespin. And I'm gonna kind of fold down the two sides so I know right where that center is. And once I've got that folded down, this is where my tape comes in because no matter what kind of glue I used, I could never get it to stick. So we are going to use a little bit of what's called gaffer's tape. Tape from the back, leave enough of an overhang so that you can open up your clothespin and tuck that tape around the inside because we need that piece, that black rectangle to stay put. You can trim that down if you need to. And then I'm gonna reinforce where it's gonna wrap around the clothespin. I'm gonna turn the whole thing over again. My glue's kind of slipping and sliding here. And then I'm gonna refold those wings into an up position because that is how you'll glue the last bit of that rectangle onto the wing. And you want it to glue while they're facing up. So a little bit of glue on the end. And then we're gonna do the same thing to the other side, make sure that the wing is facing up. Little bit of glue. There we go. Let that glue in that position. And when you're finished, ta-da, you have a little flying bat. I really liked this one. 